Hi guys, my name is Shayla and I do these videos every Wednesday. This Wednesday I want to talk to you about how do we travel full time. Something that I've been getting asked a lot. Everyone's scenario is completely different. So I didn't want to dive into all of those details, but instead give you some ideas for things that you could maybe incorporate into your life. I'm originally from Minnesota. I went to college in San Diego. I moved to Spain for three months to be a nanny, an au pair using greatopair.com. It was a really great experience. I got to live with the family. I got to learn a lot of Spanish. I got paid a little bit every couple of weeks. After that, I moved to Hawaii. I, used, I was a bartender and a server at a couple different places, and I would highly recommend trade jobs like bartending, serving, yoga instructor, massage therapy, anything that you can go in and do, something a skill that you have. I worked in a surf camp in Costa Rica as the yoga instructor in exchange for my room and board. Like random things. I was at a wedding one time and I in Tahoe and I wanted to stay a little bit longer and I had met somebody who was like, you should stay and I have some work for you. So I ended up repairing these yurts for him. I worked in a hostel on the Appalachian Trail. I tented outside the hostel but got to experience all the hikers that came through. Ah, and then I went to Puerto Rico, which is where I met Luis. So I went to Puerto Rico, used my trade of uh, waitressing and bartending again. And then Luis and I went to um, Nicaragua and we found work running pub crawls which was a new thing for us very cool and then usually in all these places I'm also doing yoga I run yoga retreats. the reason why I run yoga retreats is because I travel all over the place and I want to share these experiences with people and I want to give them the opportunity to come to these places and with that I get to use the yoga to kind of tap into their psyche a little bit and their subconscious it while they're meditating and have them really like hone in on what makes them what would make them have a really full life and now we're making videos and we've made a few videos for a couple different companies and we're continuing to build that so these are just a couple ideas like I said the photography the videography yoga some trade things are really helpful the, a couple websites are greatoutpair.com uh, work away which is amazing that's a lot of exchange you work or volunteer there in exchange for a place to stay There's also another one called woofing if you're into farming and really again getting into the environment what people don't realize is that living abroad sometimes is cheaper than living here so in Nicaragua we paid $250 for a rent for a month so you can move to these places live cheaper or you work for trade so you don't make any money but you're not spending any money either so those are kind of some tips that I've used that I would highly recommend if you are trying to go live somewhere for an extended amount of time. Hope those are super helpful. If it is helpful, please like below, like the like button, and subscribe to my channel, Living on a One Way. Please comment below and tell me what you've done and what you've used or any questions that you have about it because I love trying to, I love inspiring you to go, maybe not full time, but just go live somewhere for a month and kind of get the feel of things and see how different people live. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week.